Okay. Hello. This is the remake of the fire starting uh, video. And uh, what we have first is the Ferris heater rod. This is uh, just one of the many that I have. How you can start a fire with that? If you have birch bark, you can kind of. Scrape up some dust, some fine little pieces of the bark. Like so we'll give this a try, see if it uh, lights. With the Ferris Eam Rod. And there, you got fire! So what you need is dry tinder to get uh, a fire started with a Ferris Eam Rod. You can carry your own tinder, like uh, a piece of cotton ball. They light up pretty quick, like so. And to make it even better, you get one that's uh, got a little bit of Vaseline on it, and it'll burn. Take a spark just as quick. And the Vaseline will act like a fuel, and it'll uh, keep on burning for a while. But you could use uh, dry grasses, uh, small little branches, dead uh, weeds and flower heads and stuff like that, and start a fire with the ferrocium rod. Now the flint and steel, exact same one I gave you and this is a piece of flint but it's not really working too well but we'll see if we can get it going. Ferris heam rod produces I don't know 5,000 degrees sparks or something like that and these are only around 2,000 degrees don't quote me on that I don't know I just know that these are a lot hotter and bigger sparks. As a result you need some kind of charred material to catch a spark from a flint and steel. And this here is just a piece of 100% cotton uh, face cloth. And what you do with this is you uh, cut yourself a little piece of dirt. Like that. You put it in the tin. And there's already a piece in there, but you can just, you can pretty well stuff her in there. And uh, then you put this in the fire. It takes about 15 minutes for it to char. Uh, it's not getting any oxygen, so it's not burning per se, but just converting it into this stuff here. Uh, if you have a hinge box like this, you don't have to poke a hole in it. If it's like a two-piece thing, then you should poke a hole in the top with a nail or something like that. Smoke will come out of the hole, maybe even a fire will catch there, but once that's over with, the flame, and most importantly the smoke, then you take it off. You let it cool by itself, and you're left with something like this. A piece of char cloth. And to get a spark onto this, you just take your flint, Lay your char cloth on top, close to the edge, and you struck down, and there you see it, the char cloth has got a fire going. Now if you had some dry grasses like this, and maybe some birch bark, I don't have a lot of dry grasses left, but you make yourself a big tinder bundle, which is kind of like a bird's nest. And you can actually use a bird's nest. You fold that in there.
How do you fire? Ah. <laughs> Good job there's not a smoke detector down here. Hopefully uh, it's still working. So you need some kind of charred material. And it doesn't have to be cotton cloth. It could be natural material. Uh, some kind of... Uh, some weeds you can do. Uh, goldenrod, stuff like that. Uh, the punky wood. It's like the half rotten punky wood of a tree stump or something like that. And that's what I got in here. There's some natural charred material. And I'm going to start, I'm going to try to start and get an ember going in here. And uh, I tried it in practice and I cut my knuckle, of course. So we'll try again. It's Ella. Maybe I'll stand up, get some more leverage. Make sure you have a sharp. A bit tentative after I cut my knuckle. Oh, one almost cut. There. And there you see you have the little ember in there, growing like that. Now, you could actually take this ember out, or a piece, put it into your bird's nest in your bundle again, and blow it into a fire, or you can just take your tinder bundle, let's say, you know, it's not like this, but you can hold it over the top, and then blow in, and it'll catch fire. I don't know if I can do this with that, but... And you see, you have fire! Now, hopefully this will uh, go out on its own, even though there's air getting into it. Now, Chris, what do you do with this? Hmm. Sorry, D! Ah, ah. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Just joking. We'll just take the tinder, the little bits of char that's going. Yo! Out of there! So, and that's how to use natural charred material. And like I said, uh, you need, uh, you really need charred material to get a, a flint and steel fire going. Uh, if you don't have birch bark, other barks will work. Cedar bark, as long as it's dry. Uh, dry uh, with a ferrocium rod, you can get uh, like dry pine needles or spruce needles or dry uh, grasses and stuff like that. You can get going without using a char thing like this. This is a bit of a uh, dead dry grasses. Let's see if we can get it going. And there you see it going. Now I've got another firing thing there. Burning down the house. But, uh, so, everybody else carry, everybody really carries a lighter, a big lighter, and matches. The good thing about this is, it's waterproof, it doesn't matter whether it's wet or dry. And you can get, I don't know, a thousand lights out of it, a thousand sparks or something like that. So that's why it's uh, handy to have in this day and age. And so it's, you just have fun with it. Same with uh, the flint and steel. I got a couple of different strikers. And uh, this lasts forever and ever. You can use uh, flint if you got it. 
or quartzite, I think it's about. But even this little red rock here that I picked up off the beach in PEI. Uh, we'll throw sparks. Yeah. So, that's the redone uh, fire starting with ferro rod and flint steel. This is for Frank down in Florida. I hope it gives you some insight into how to do it. And all you have to do is practice, practice, practice. And it's fun to practice, unless, of course, you cut your knuckle like I did. <laughs> uh, need some medicine. And I urge you to uh, do some more research on the YouTube about the proper ways of doing and some other uh, stuff they can use for Tinder, etc., etc., etc. So thanks for dropping by. Oh, there you are. Thanks for dropping by. I hope that the sound is working. And uh, thanks for dropping by. Chris, out. <laughs>